Hey there, good optometry morning. Dr. Michael Nelson, your YouTube eye doctor here, and I'm so excited because today I'm gonna to be telling you all about anti-glare coatings and why you should never ever get a pair of glasses without these coatings. I'm also gonna be sharing with you 16 things that the experts always forget to tell you about these coatings, and we are starting right now. Okay, so anti-glare coatings. In the industry, we will often refer to them as anti-reflection or AR coatings. So why do you want these coatings and why should you never get a pair of glasses without these coatings? There are two reasons. Number one, look good. Number two, see good. Okay, so first of all, you get the anti-reflection coatings, the same reasons why you go to the gym. You wanna look good. So here's the thing. We connect with each other with our eyes. All right, have you noticed that you don't really connect with someone quite as well or trust them as much when you can't see their eyes? Or have you ever watched a YouTube video where they're not quite looking at the camera and you just don't really feel connected to them? Eye contact is extremely important in your relationships and making good contact and seeing the eyes clearly is a critical part to that connection. So if you have a pair of glasses like these without an anti-reflection coating, then you're gonna get a lot of reflections that bounce off the surface of this lens and they're gonna distract you from seeing my eyes and we're not gonna make as good of connection. So if you wanna make a better connection with someone or if you happen to be on camera a lot, you need a pair of anti-reflection lenses. So the second reason is you wanna see good. So let's talk optics a little bit. When you have a standard lens without an anti-reflection coating, there is some light that penetrates through that lens, but about 8% of light bounces off the front surface and the back surface of the lens. And so you only get about 92% of the light coming through the lens, reaching your eyes. But if you have lenses that are coated with an anti-reflection coating, only about a half percent of light is bounced away and about 99.5% of light passes through that lens to your eyes. So when you wear lenses that are coated with an anti-reflection coating, you are seeing an image that's about 7.5% brighter. And why wouldn't you want that? All right, so I'm gonna tell you those 16 things that no one tells you about anti-reflection coatings in just a bit. But before I forget, if this is your first time here at this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe and the bell button so you get more notifications about videos like this that teach you about your eyes and contact lenses and glasses. So let me tell you a little bit more detail about anti-reflection coatings. So anti-reflection coatings are a microscopic metallic film that's placed on the surface of the lens. And I'm not gonna go into the physics of how anti-reflection coatings work, but if you wanna learn about that, search for videos that talk about destructive interference for anti-reflection lenses. So these microscopic coatings are very, very thin. So each coating is about 0.2 microns thick. And for reference, a piece of saran wrap is about 12 microns thick. 0.2 microns thick is about the thickness of the walls of a soap bubble. And so the process to make these anti-reflection coatings is super high tech. So they do this whole process in a clean room and there are multiple steps of cleaning and making sure that that lens it has no imperfections on it. And then they're gonna take that lens and they're gonna put it inside a vacuum chamber and then they're gonna expose it to a vaporized form of some metal oxide, which is gonna bake that coating right into the lens. Some of the premium coatings have seven or more layers on them. And so for each layer, they have to go through that whole process. So it's not unusual for a premium anti-reflection coating lenses that it can take a complete day just to coat the lenses. All right, so what are the things that the experts aren't telling you about the anti-reflection coating lenses? Okay, so first of all, there are different qualities of anti-reflection coatings. Just like anything, there's good, better, best in anti-reflection coating. So the better coatings are gonna be clearer, easier to clean, and they will last longer than cheaper coatings will. And in fact, there's a number of anti-reflection coatings that are on the market that were developed in the 1980s. So just think about that for a second. What other piece of technology are you using from the 1980s? And so for that reason, you wanna make sure you have the most up-to-date technology in your anti-reflection coating lenses. Okay, so number two, how do you tell if you have an anti-reflection coating? So there are many things that have anti-reflection coatings, including camera lenses, your phones, almost any optical device will have some form of anti-reflection coating. And the way you tell is the color of the reflections. And you'll notice on this side, the reflections are kind of white and normal color, but on this side, they'll have kind of a greenish, purplish hue to them. If you see that greenish purple hue to the reflections on the lens, that means it has an anti-reflection coating. Okay, number three, anti-glare or anti-reflective coatings 
reduce the amount of reflections off the surface of your glasses only. They don't stop any of the reflections or glare that you will get off of other surfaces. So this is an important thing that I think a lot of people don't understand. So I will often get people coming into my exam room and they will say, I experience lots of glare on my computer or driving at night. And these are people that don't normally wear glasses. And they ask me, can I get a pair of anti-reflection glasses that get rid of that glare off my computer or that glare at night? And the answer is no. So these coatings won't reduce the glare off those surfaces, but they will reduce the glare that's induced by your lenses. Now, sometimes the glasses prescription that you get, the power in the lens, whether you're nearsighted or have astigmatism or farsighted, just getting that corrected will sometimes reduce that glare and make the image clearer, but the anti-reflection coating themselves won't get rid of that glare. All right, number four, anti-scratch coating. So I talk about anti-scratch, or I prefer to call it scratch-resistant coating because it's a separate coating that an anti-reflective coating. So scratch-resistant coatings are exactly that. They're scratch-resistant. There's no coating that you can put on a lens that makes it scratch-proof. So you can get a lens coated with just a scratch-resistant coating without an anti-reflection coating. However, you cannot get a lens coated with an anti-reflection coating that doesn't have a scratch resistant coating. But remember, it's a scratch resistant, not a scratch proof coating. All right, number five, these coatings wear out with time. So like I said, these are multiple layers of very thin metallic coatings on the surface of the lens. And with normal wear and tear and cleaning of these lens, these coatings will break down and be rubbed off and will not work as well as they did when they were brand new. But what you will find is that the more premium coating and the better quality coating, the longer they will last and that the longer they will retain their properties that make them work very, very well. So number six is a term called crazing. And so this is related to the durability of these lenses. Like I said, these coatings are a very thin metallic coating on the surface of the lens. And when these lenses change temperature, when you go outside and indoors, plastic part of the lens and the metallic coating, they will often contract and expand at slightly different rates. And so what you can get when you have a sudden change in temperature of these lenses, you can get that metallic coating on the surface to crack or wrinkle or split, and that's called crazing. So when your lens is crazed, when you look at it, it will look almost perfectly clear. But if light hits that lens at just the right angle, that lens will look kind of cloudy or foggy. And so sometimes you'll have lenses where it just seems like, okay, these aren't as clear as what they used to be, or I can't get them clean. And oftentimes they might be crazed. So any anti-reflective coating lenses will start to craze at some point in time. However, there are some things that can cause that to happen more frequently. So like I said, sudden dramatic changes in temperature will cause crazing to happen on a lens. And in particular, exposure to heat will be a big thing. And so if you have an oven that you open and you get that sudden blast of heat on the lens, or if you're around a barbecue or a campfire for a long period of time, or if you take your glasses and you leave them on the dash of your car or in your car and the heat from the sun is on those, those are all things that can cause your lenses to craze. So sometimes depending on the coating, there will be a warranty against crazing. So you wanna make sure to ask if this lens has any warranty against crazing, and if so, how long? But really, you wanna take really, really good care of these lenses and not expose them to those sudden changes in temperature. All right, so number seven, there are a number of properties that anti-reflective coatings can have. So there's up to five properties that current anti-reflective coatings can have. So number one, we talked about scratch-resistant coatings. So like I said, all anti-reflective coatings have a scratch-resistant coating. Number two, anti-reflective coatings are anti-reflective. So that's pretty self-explanatory. So a third property these lenses can have is that they can be hydrophobic. So what that means is that when water lands on them, it beads up and rolls off right away. So another property is anti-static. So if lint and dust is floating in the air, those particles of lint and dust won't tend to stick or land on the lens. They'll tend to bounce or slide off. And the fifth property that these anti-reflective coatings can have is being oilophobic. So oilophobic is basically resisting oils on lenses. And the number one oil that you will get on lenses are fingerprints. And so AR lenses that are oilophobic will be much more slippery and won't tend to pick up fingerprints and be much, much easier to clean. All right, and so not every anti-reflective coating will have all of these properties. So the premium lenses will have all five of them, but the entry-level ones might only have a scratch-resistant coating and an anti-reflective coating and not any of the other features. All right, so number eight, what do people normally get? Do most people get anti-reflective coatings or do most people not get them? Well, interesting, it can vary depending on what country you live in. So for example, Japan, 
probably over 90% of glasses that are worn in Japan have an anti-reflective coating. In Canada, probably about 75% of glasses have an anti-reflective coating. In the United States, probably only about 50% of people get anti-reflective coatings. But that being said, wherever you live, I still think you should have an anti-reflective coating. All right, so number nine, the high-tech anti-reflective coating on the surface of the lens is different than the high-tech optic properties of the lens. So let's say you're getting a high-tech, state-of-the-art progressive lens from Nikon. You wanna make sure you put the best anti-reflective coating on that lens as well, so you don't discount any of the really good optics you get in that lens. All right, number 10, Every company has a different name for their anti-reflective coating. So the one that most people have heard of is Crizel. Crizel is the brand name for the company Essilor of their family of anti-reflective coated lenses. So Essilor uses Crizel to name all of their anti-reflective coating. So they have Crizel Sapphire, Crizel Preventia, Crizel Forte, Crizel Easy Clean. All of those are Crizel coatings, but some are really great premium coatings and some are entry level coatings. So Zeiss uses Duravision, Nikon uses Seacoat. And so you have to learn the lingo and the names of the different brands and the different qualities of these anti reflective coatings for each company. All right, number 11, you can get anti-reflective coatings putting on the front of the lens or the back of the lens or both. So typically clear lenses are gonna have anti-reflective coatings on the front of the lens and the back of the lens. The coating on the front of the lens reduces reflections that people see coming off the front of the lens. Coating on the back of the lens reduces reflections that you might get from light coming from behind the lens and reflecting into your eye. But in sunglasses, you will often see lenses like this one that won't have an anti-reflection coating on the front. So you can see it reflects white light on the front, but on the back of the lens, it has an anti-reflection coating. So you can see that cued color of that reflection. And so in sunglasses, that's really important because you will often get light that bounces off the back that shines into your eyes. So you definitely want an anti-reflection coating on the back of your sunglasses. All right, number 12, you can't apply these coatings after the fact. So if you got a pair of lenses and you didn't get the anti-reflective coating and then you said, oh, you know what, maybe I did want that. In order to get the anti-reflective coating, they have to make a brand new lens because this process is all done in the whole lens process. You can't apply it on after. All right, and likewise, because anti-reflective coatings are often kind of baked into the surface of the lens, you cannot remove these. So sometimes people will have lenses that start to craze or start to peel, and, and they ask, can I just remove that coating? And oftentimes we can't. Sometimes the labs will try, and they can use some harsh chemicals to remove that, but oftentimes they will distort or scratch the lens or make the lens even worse. So, so if you're gonna try that, you have to make sure you're prepared to have your lens completely ruined. And, and I would say most opticals won't even attempt to try it. All right, number 14, you cannot tint through an anti-reflective coating lenses. So sometimes people will have a clear pair of lenses that they'll say, hey, could I just tint these into a sunglass? And if they have an anti-reflection coating, that will block the amount of tint that absorbs into the lens. And so you cannot tint those lenses into sunglasses. All right, number 15, remember these coatings are really, really delicate. So, so remember they're super thin and treat them that way. So you wanna make sure you're not using harsh chemicals on them, only use anti-reflection lens sprays on them and use a microfiber cloth on these lenses and treat them very, very carefully because they can break down and they can wear out. These coatings are not indestructible. And number 16, ask about what warranty your anti-reflective coated lenses have. So some lenses will have no warranty at all. Some companies, they'll say, well, you can replace the coating, but we'll charge you a fee for it. Some will have a one year or up to a two year warranty. I don't know of any anti-reflective coated lenses that have more than a two year warranty. And sometimes the warranty will include one time replacement, but not multiple replacements. So make sure you ask what warranty is included with your lens. All right, so that's anti-reflective coating 101. If there's any questions I didn't cover in this, make sure you leave a comment down below and make sure you hit the subscribe and the bell button and have a great optometry day.